From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. More than 25,000 persons fully vaccinated against the coronavirus now getting additional freedoms announced in the House by the Prime Minister today as he closed debate on the government's budget for the coming fiscal year. Those additional freedoms include more opportunities to get together with vaccinated persons. The Tribune will have a complete report on what they can do in Tuesday's edition. The Prime Minister also announcing more moves to try and help ground Bahamas economy get back on track. They're planning a number of infrastructure projects for that island during the next budget period. On Friday, the Prime Minister was in Grand Bahama for the arrival of the first cruise ship in some time, and he believes this is a good start to economic recovery for that island. 15,000 Royal Caribbean cruise visitors who will come ashore in Grand Bahama over the next three months will each spend on various items. And that spend, coupled with other Royal Caribbean expenditure, will amount to an energetic shot in the arm to the rebounding economy here in Grand Bahama. And Tourism Minister Diagula backing that. More tourists means more jobs. More jobs means more income. And more income means an improvement in our quality of life. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police still to release the identity of the man shot and killed in a struggle with a gunman outside his home last night in the Chippingham area here in the capital. Police are not sure what led to that struggle. They're checking the robbery angle. The victim was shot in the head. No identity released yet for the man who died in that traffic accident here in the capital over the weekend. Traffic police say the man was fatally injured when he apparently lost control of his vehicle on Skyline Drive and it slammed into a coconut tree. Less than 100 confirmed coronavirus cases reported for the three-day period ending Saturday. And cases have been declining for the past couple of weeks. But infectious disease expert Dr. Nakia Forbes believes it's still too early to say the country is actually coming out of the third wave. She's still urging caution. As for the hospital numbers, a slight increase. 42 persons are in, with two in the ICU through Saturday. Relatives of Samuel Mullings, a Bahamian not commenting on his shooting death in Florida last week. Florida police found him with gunshot wounds in the Lauder Hill area of Broward County. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Partly cloudy and warm tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 80 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the seas three feet or less. High tide now, the next low around midnight. Tuesday's forecast, partly sunny and warm, highs in the upper 80s, maybe some low 90s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The Tribune has reopened to the public. So if you're selling a car, truck, boat, or computer, call us today on 502-2398. Advertising in the Tribune's classified trader works. So call us on 502-2398 or email classifieds at tribunemedia.net for your quote. And let us help you get cash in your pocket. There are great deals to be had every day. So get your copy of the classified trader every Monday through Friday. Only in the Tribune. The People's Paper. Biggest and best. World news headlines now. A number of countries continue to vaccinate and move ahead of the coronavirus pandemic, but South American countries continue to struggle with both. Brazil has now passed 500,000 deaths, second only to the U.S. Still no end in sight there. There will be spectators at the Olympic Games, but limited. The decision made earlier today by the IOC, despite some objections, Increasing concern after a Ugandan athlete at the Games Village tested positive for the virus. Officials are confident, though, they can contain any outbreak. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's plenty of sock on TV. They're getting down to the nitty-gritty of that international tournament going on in Europe. The Tribune Sports following John Quell Jones playing in the Euro Basketball Championships for Bosnia. Major League Baseball limited Monday schedule. Jazz and the Marlins heading home. They're off today. They open a series against the Blue Jays tomorrow. NBA playoffs game two tonight in Phoenix. 
The Suns hosting the Clippers. The Suns won the opening game. The Hawks and the Bucks get started in the East Finals tomorrow. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at tribune242.com.